Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman. Welcome to the three must-know skills of Florida land surveying jurisdictional exam. It has been a while since I took my Florida exam, I'll admit, because I was first licensed as a PSM in Florida when I was getting my PhD. But after taking the exam myself, and after talking with dozens of Florida surveyors who have recently taken and passed their exam, I created this video to share some personal experiences that's gonna help you become the next Florida professional surveyor and mapper. Let's just talk about the exam generally for a second. The Florida PSM jurisdictional is nothing more than an open book exam on the Florida statutes. Now, I'm not just talking about the acts and the rules, I'm talking about adverse possession, business law, subdivisions, plats. Also, Florida is surrounded by beaches. So we are gonna have several statutes on shoreline and beaches and preservation and all kinds of good stuff. I love that because I mean, who doesn't love a state where you can go on Christmas day in your shorts and t-shirt and walk South Beach? It's amazing. Another thing someone told me recently was Florida is the only state in the union where the farther north you go in territory, the farther south you get in personality. How about that? That was pretty funny. But getting back to our exam, let's talk about the three must know skills for every PSM exam taker. The first skill, number one, is definitely going to be, uh, you know, how the board functions. How many members are there on the board? What agency are they under? The DOACS, you know, Agriculture Consumer Services. Not all board members are surveyors. We've got members of the public, we've got an attorney, some other stuff going on. So number one skill, know the Florida board, because these are the people who are regulating and protecting the public for the surveying profession. And don't forget that. You know, the Florida board does not exist to serve us, the surveyors. The Florida board exists to serve the public and protect the public from the PSMs. So the Florida board is a great bunch of people, but they don't work for us. They don't work for us. And that'll help you in your career later on down the road. Number two is going to be 5J17. What is 5J17, you ask? Well, when I say 5J17, you should think of what I, as a professional surveyor, have to do in order to do a proper survey. So if I'm doing a boundary survey, I've got to find or set the boundary corners. I've got to have a north arrow. I've got to designate a scale factor. All these things are the check boxes which every survey has to have. And if you, as a Florida surveyor, get your license and you don't know that this stuff is required, well, then that is a black mark against the board. So the exam is gonna test you thoroughly on 5J17. And third, and finally, we have beaches. Beaches, beaches, and more beaches. What is the CCCL? What is the 100-year erosion line? When can someone build seaward of the Shoreline Preservation Act line? All of these things are about beaches. And there's gonna be chapter 177 questions. There's gonna be chapter 62 B33 questions. So what I'm telling you is there are several statutes where you could find beach-related questions. And as a exam candidate, as a student of the Florida law, your job under every circumstance, you get a question, 
read the question. Your mind should automatically go to a possible statute to look up in your binder. And that's because you have to foreshadow, you have to foresee the question and the question answer source. Because I can guarantee you, no matter how much you study, there are always going to be questions that make you scratch your head. And it's not that you're a bad student, but it's just telling you to go look in your statutes binder, because remember, this is an open note exam. So I guess that's really the fourth skill, being able to understand what the question is asking you and knowing immediately where to go look for the answer. And if you can do that, you are going to be a successful Florida PSM exam candidate. I hope you're the next PSM, and if you are, leave a comment below and tell us how you did.